Welcome back, lovely Bakunas. It's your girl Chiku. I hope you've been blissful and you've been fantastic and you've had an awesome past week. And today I just wanted I missed this cozy corner here and I wanted to have a small chat with you. And so um, this chat is going to be about faith, perseverance in trials and everything else. So I'm going to basically talk to you about the about the the greatest characters in the Bible that faced the 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 most horrendous tests and trials. Yet they came out to be they came out as conquerors. They came out as victors, and this is just to inspire someone out there who's feeling down, who's feeling low, who's be feeling beaten, who's feeling at the rock bottom, who's feeling like they can't even like they can't comprehend what is going on or like they're feeling like maybe God has left them and it's just uh, to show them that in this the season of of that pain in the season of not not understanding anything that God always remains faithful and god always comes through just keep on enduring keep on persevering and keep on holding on to the faith faith even if faith does not make sense i know faith sometimes cannot you cannot even try to make sense or to believe in something uh that that is there's no this it seems like there's no way out but i want to to, to encourage you just hold on and hold on to God God is going to be faithful God is going to honor that pain is going to honor that that season if it's waiting if it's pain if it's joblessness God is going to to honor that 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 pain that waiting God is going to be faithful is going to honor you and is going to make you phenomenal and a victor out of it all so without so much so much yeah talking uh i'll just dive into these characters and and um of course we know that one of the greatest man of faith is abraham abraham is just known to be the man of faith is just known to be the father of faith and god had promised him so many things so many great things but it took i researched it that it took at least seven times before god repeating the promise to abraham before it before it sunk and he was convinced that indeed god is going to honor him and god is going to be true and we see we know that uh, uh, god had promised abraham to be that he'll be a father of uh, many nations a father of great nation a uh, great nations and uh, God was going to bless him. He promised that he was going to bless him and bless those who bless him and curse those who curse him. And uh, that was just like the before, you know, before the bombo clats. And <laughs> the bombo clats here was when Abraham, they had waited, first of all, they had waited before, you know, before they got their own son or their, their own uh, child from their, from their, you know, from his own wife and it was like it was not going to happen it took it took a long time before yeah they they were convinced that yeah they are going to have their own son and actually the wife actually laughed it out like when god told her that she was going to conceive and she laughed it out and she was like no at my old age ah no god is just no no that is just <laughs> but it happened it actually happened then after it happened after they got the the most precious thing the most the apple of the eye their son isaac god comes in let's read this genesis 22 verse 2 says then god said to abraham take your son your only son whom you love isaac go to the region of moria sacrifice him there as a burnt offering on a mount on a mountain i will show you really wow you take that son that only son that you are given at an old age you know you go and uh, 
take a knife uh, kill him and offer him as a sacrifice to God this is I can't even fathom just imagine your daughter or your son God is telling you take that child take that baby I want them as, as an offering I want them as a sacrifice like in real terms like you guys like in real hmm? The, the the child that you've been crying to God to give you, God give me a child, God give me a child, or the most the most precious thing in your life, be it your parents, your sister, your brother, be it the most um, precious thing that you hold dear, God is telling you destroy it and give it to me, just give it to me, and it's not in the most, it's not just giving it away, it's in the most painful manner. And I'm like, wow, gosh, Abraham at that time, I don't know what he was feeling. I don't know what was running in his mind, but it's through the love and confidence that he had in God that he, he was willing to go and do that. He was willing to go and sacrifice his son because we are told in the next uh, line that early the next morning, he receives an order today. He doesn't even take time to, you know, like at least argue kidogo with God. Argue like, okay, God, do I know how now? Yes, I know you are God. Maybe I know you should, maybe in my mind, maybe I could have said, God, no, you give me this only son. You gave me this, you know, this precious thing. How now? How, how do you want it back? How do you want me to, 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 to cause so much pain on them? You know, but abraham did not argue abraham did not debate with god he just the next early morning he took his son his two servants they went to the mountain and he was ready to lift up his his knife and just do it and get done over because he had so much trust in god but god so his faithfulness back to him god i'm sure even god, god was amazed god maybe he was 50 50 but it was a test and if he endured this test that's why he's the father of he's the father of great nations he's the father of any his descendants have he was honored to have as many descendants as the stars and as 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 many descendants as as the sand at the seashore and that is one of the my greatest he's actually he's the father abraham he's not just anyone that's why we are all told father abraham had many sons had many sons so father abraham yes and he's, he was actually honored and even joshua confirmed that indeed what all that god had had promised you had been fulfilled so just keep on keep on no matter how hard how hard it seems no matter how pressing the situation is how you know how you're feeling pressed and feeling like there's no way out just hold on and be faithful to god be faithful to god be obedient to god and god is going to honor you i uh, the second character that we see that also faced so much so much struggle and uh, and you know and uh, i don't even know don't know what to call it but hardship we can say maybe hardship at, at the same time victory was david and we all know david ah uh, david is such a young man but he 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 won so many wars war after war war after war and even the person that he was fighting for Saul, he became jealous and went after him and it was so i it was not understandable how a person who comes in to save you you become jealous of them they save your nation but then again you want to kill them we have we, there's so many uh, so many times here we are shown like the way david david uh, was almost put uh, pinned pinned to the wall by soul 
<laughs> because he was so jealous he wanted to kill him and uh, uh, this you're going to find in the book of first samuel from 17 18 19 20 21 22 you're going to find the story of samuel after fighting so many wars and and uh, and conquering uh, we see that he faces the greatest man you know f just imagine of the greatest huge huge humongous man Goliath but now just imagine someone you can't even come to bring yourself into that you you are going to kill that person or you're going to become a victor over him you know he faces Goliath uh, a giant man with power and with the with the with the biggest army that he has ever seen you he has ever known and uh, who mocked him who was like who uh, you can't do anything to me but you see David just who, just remembering who he was remembering who his God was remembering how God had made him a victor how he killed the the lion and the bear and he was like he he be that became that became his testimony that if indeed God was able to to spare me from the teeth of the lion and the bears what about this just person a person like me a person like me who's not wild who's not who doesn't have canines and the what yeah and that is basically wow that is just basically wow you can imagine a small young guy <clears throat> without any you know any helmets any 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 form of you know something to cover him and there's this guy facing him <clears throat> with the most sharpest spear but god was faithful he just took that small rock a small uh stone and through that target you need that target he was able to finish to finish him off completely wow Wow, just wow. So David becomes one of them. Yes, he's just he he is known to be he was known to be the 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 person who was after after the after God's heart and God honored him highly. And even when Saul pursued him, time after time, time after time, time after time, we see that he is a human and he gets vulnerable. He confides to Jonathan. Jonathan becomes his, his greatest pal, his greatest friend. And this teared me up when, in First Samuel 20, verse 41, when it said, After the boy had gone, David got up from the south side of the <clears throat> of the of the stone and bowed down before Jonathan three times with his face on the ground. Then they kissed each other and wept together. But David wept the most. Wow. David he is just a man. He's just when when we are all humans. We are all humans and whatever trial we face we, we sometimes you are forced we, you even find yourself even how no matter how strong you think you are you find sometimes crying and asking god god why is this happening to me i'm doing my best to, to i'm doing my best to honor you and to be faithful to you but still enemies are trying to come after me one after another one after another or if it's the same person one time after time time after time and you can't you just find yourself breaking down if you're breaking down right now if you're feeling down if you're feeling desperate hold on hold on hold on god is going to be faithful god is going to honor you and because we see even in another test that they had to endure we see that <clears throat> the same people that he was fighting with they were their malachites i think the same the, they were in the same army and the one time they came uh, uh, during the war their wives were captured and uh, uh, their wives and david's wives were captured and taken away and this army men they turned against david and they wanted to stone him they wanted to stone him they wanted but but <clears throat> 
and 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 you can imagine that time you know your family is taken away and the same people who are behind your back they are turning against you wow it can be just heartbreaking and something unfathomable unfathomable so uh but you see that david was the, was a man after god's after god's own heart and he always went back to god he always asked god god what do i do do i do i attack them do i go be after them and god always gave him an answer so always learn from this always learn to go back to god god what do i do yes i know this and this and this is happening but how do i conquer how do i come holy spirit we have an advocate we have a comforter who is always willing to help us who is going to uh, willing to give us his grace and his peace even in the midst of turmoil it's just take it it only takes a matter of asking him god i need you god i need you to come into this into this in this trial into this uh, hardship or, or something that you're going into recognizing that you recognizing that you need god and surrendering that to god it's going to you're going to receive the the greatest health that you've ever thought of and you're going you're going to be a victor i promise you you're going to be a a victor so let's learn from david even uh, yeah he passed through so much his own son reject it was like after him he took away his throne his, if you remember if you read that story just go read about uh from first samuel his son abs Ab, i just call it what abs Absalom or Absalom, I don't know, but something, yeah. He was, he wanted to take his father's throne, you know, yeah. But God restored his own throne, God restored David's throne, and later on we see that he gave, uh, he gave his, his son Solomon, like the right, the right heir to, to take over the throne. So, Abakundos, hold on, Abakundos, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Do not give up. Do not give in. Uh, do not, mm, you know, just throw in the towel and think it's absolutely it. God has forgi- uh, forgotten about me. Just persevere, persevere. We're all told to persevere. And we're all told that, that in this world we're going to suffer. We are, we are going to face many frustrations and hardships and uh, and uh, pain but it just takes like holding on holding on and coming back to god coming back to god and seeking his help seeking and being faithful to him okay on to the next character i think this is going to be a two-part series because they have so many characters that always encourage me and um, they always leave my mind that oh i can't even like you know come to understand how much he had to go through and we have joseph who doesn't love joseph 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 in the book of genesis 37 from 37 to 50 i think it was 50 we see david facing a lot being sold by his own brothers you know any you have brothers you have it might be someone who ha, who is maybe segregated i'm a Unaonewa, mauna. There's some, you know, upendelevu from 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 you, you know, from your siblings, and uh, uh, I just want to encourage you from David's story that indeed, yes, his father loved him so so much, Jacob, but his brothers hated him with their whole hearts, their their whole all of their hearts, and. They, any, they they wanted even to kill him but it took it took Reuben and Judah who who are like no let's not kill him this is that will be going overboard even if we hate him let us just sell him so they sold him to Potif- to Potiphar uh, who's a, an official and uh, yeah you can imagine the pain you can imagine the pain of just being sold from your country imagine being sold from kenya your brothers eh? they sell you to, just from someone and you're taken from kenya to uganda or to tanzania or to you know the another another country 
and you're just a young guy you're just maybe 17 there a young person and you you can't see your mother again your your mother dies even before you see them back your father is getting old you don't know even if he's, he's there or he's, if he's alive but your brothers your sister, your brothers they sell you and then you go there you start working for this guy and god rewards you because you god loves you so much and he's going to honor you and so this thing is the wife the wife to the official but his first wife start seducing start seducing david and this is something we know that is something that david did not even partake he 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 tried so many times to to refuse this woman but this woman finally caught him uh grabbed his clock and this uh, and say to the to the other elders that david was trying to 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 rape him or something uh yeah uh, you just go read uh, uh, Genesis 39 verse 8 but he refused uh, he refused and said with me in child with me in child he told her my master does not concern himself with anything in the house everything he owns he has entrusted to my care no one is greater than is greater in his house than I am my master has withheld nothing from me except you because you are his wife how then could I do such a wicked thing and sin against my God? You see all these characters, they have a resemblance, they have something in common. And this common thing is always remembering who their God is, remembering the commandments of God, remembering what God said about uh about that just being faithful and and uh, being faithful to his commandments and and uh, being obedient the greatest virtue here we are seeing that is really coming to light is obedience are you being obedient are you being obedient to god are you holding on to to what he promises are you holding on to what he told you not to do and what to do he holds on and uh, it doesn't even it doesn't help him and it can be the your situation right now you're trying to do the right thing at work you're trying to do your work with honesty but it seems like your honesty is not being paid off your honesty is not summing up to anything and these people are still coming after you these people are still you know they can't see they can't see the greatness in you or the, or the or the benefit you're bringing to this your organization or anything that you that you're going through so sadly failed and uh, actually we still we still see that god continues to honor him and be faithful even in jail he still has high spirit he's telling the other the other two fellow fellow prison mates why are you uh, feeling cast down why are you feeling downcast why are you feeling sad eh? and uh, and we see that um God remembers him. God remembers him, and um, finally, he through the interpretation of the dreams, uh, Pharaoh, the king, loves what he how, how what he interprets, and actually uh, bring him to to the palace to be the person who who you know who takes over the harvest of the land and there was going to be a very bad drought and his brothers finally come to this land omg the the brothers when this drought strikes and there's no food in the entire let's say in the entire world let's say in that in that area the whole of that area there's no food at all and his brothers come back to him and this this dream actually is fulfilled that the brothers are going to bow down and worship him the brothers came they didn't recognize him but joseph recognized them and uh, it he just remembered everything and he just wept this verse really caught this verse really caught my heart and i was like oh gosh i wish i was there to hug joseph <laughs> and 
you see in Genesis 43 verse 29 when the brothers had come uh, when Joseph had recognized that these were their brothers they told him uh, they, he wanted to bring back their small brother Benjamin to them and uh, of course we know that they were not willing to come back but because they needed the food they had to go back so this now this is a verse that really caught my heart because it's when it's when Joseph saw his young brother young brother Joseph and let, let's just read Genesis 43 verse 29 says as he looked about and saw his brother Benjamin his own brother his own mother's son he asked is this your youngest brother the one who the one you told me about and he said God be gracious to you my son deeply moved at the sight of his brother Joseph hurried out and looked for a place to weep he went to his private room and wept there he went to his private room and wept there he wept and wept and any <sighs> this is so after he had washed his face he came out and controlling his himself said serve the food wow. how can how can not how can that not move you how can not how can that not make you shudder with pain for what he had to go through you know him seeing his his real his real mother's son his real mother's brother sorry because uh, the others were not they were his step brothers but him seeing and maybe now see you seeing your blood sister he has come and you're seeing him alive after years and years and years of maybe even thinking maybe they do not even exist you know but you see them and you see how Joseph reacts, how how vulnerable he becomes at that moment. Him being the you know, the greatest of the man in of the men in Egypt, him being like the you can call him the vice president because he had all the power. Uh, he was the second to Pharaoh, the king. And you can see how much how much he's moved, you know. How much sometimes pain it tears down even our highest of the highest hierarchies and it tears down and makes us human makes us vulnerable and Bakundas, uh, I just want to encourage you just before I, I'll, I'll, I'll continue to in part two because these are just characters I can't I can't I can't do away with because they they just touch my heart and i want to encourage you this day you can be that person today you can be abraham you can be joseph you can be david whatever you're going through god is going to honor you god is going to make you see that promise that promise he promised you that thing you've been praying for that thing that you've been crying out uh loud to God. He is going to honor you. He is going to be faithful and he's going to wipe away your tears. Just like you see Joseph here. Finally he even sees his father. His father is alive. He gets to see him. He gets to bring them over to Egypt and give them the finest lands. He gives them the finest of the finest lands and he gets to just sit with his dad. And it's just phenomenal. So, Vakundas, hold on, hold on. My, my, my heart is, goes out to anyone who's feeling down, who's feeling betrayed. Just know that God is going to honor your tears. He's going to honor your pain. Thank you so much for joining me. I, I know it's been a long, a long, um, a long vlog, but it's going i hope it inspires you and welcome uh, i hope you find you come back to uh, part two we're going to discuss the other three characters three or four characters that i still have and uh, yes let it inspire you let it encourage you and even if it's not just you go ahead and encourage someone else go ahead and encourage someone else and give a cheer give life to someone Thank you so much for joining me. I love you, Bakundas. Uh, 
thank you for being here and keep on trusting god keep on being faithful keep on being obedient i love you so much please subscribe leave your comment share and uh, give some give me some of the characters that inspire you and that give you courage to keep on going i love you so much see you next time bye